there, welcome back to the channel. So, I uh, needed to remove the stop piece bushing on a guitar that I was working on. I actually made a long video about it. I'm going to do a couple videos about it. It's the Gibson Sonics, and that, that video series is coming up. But I wanted to just take a moment to show everyone this tool that I found uh, because I think it, it's really useful and it's not expensive and you can get it in your local town. You don't have to order it and wait for a long time for it to get here. Um, so anyway, what I needed, to, what happened was in the process of restoring a guitar, I, uh, the, the ground wire that is trapped inside the stop piece anchor bushing, so, you know, right here on a Flying V or a Les Paul or, you know, pretty much any kind of Gibson style guitar, they trap the, uh, the ground wire inside of this anchor bushing that goes into the body and then it goes underneath the guitar and attaches to the pick guard onto the pot you know like usually the neck tone so mine was broken off and there was no way to attach a wire to it because it broke off at the base and it was a very thin wire that wasn't really suitable for the purpose so I wasn't quite sure how you get these off, you know, because once you, want, you, once you take the stop piece off, unscrew the threaded bolt, uh, you know, how do you get that, that anchor out without chucking up your guitar? You, you can't use like a pry tool, it would, you know, chew up the whole surface of the guitar. So anyway, I looked it up just to see, I know that Steve Mac probably makes a tool and there's this tool and that tool. But uh, I wanted something that I could do right, I wanted to fix it right then, right? So like, what am I gonna do right now? I don't wanna have to wait three days to order a tool or whatever, and it's gonna be 60 bucks or whatever. So I looked, up an I looked it up on the internet and an Instructable came up. And on the Instructable, they had the following parts. Uh, we have a half inch wrench that fits the uh, bolt, not exactly, but pretty close. And then, uh, because mine is metric on the guitar, it was a, a, a Goto uh, product, uh, it was an M8 threaded bolt. So let me just show you this M860 threaded bolt. See that? M860 has a little like built-in washer on the top, which you'll see is handy. Now, the next thing that you'll need is a piece of copper tubing, like a plump piece of plumbing. And I picked this one because it just was the right size with this M8 bolt. Next, we have a washer. See this washer? The bolt will go inside of the washer, like so. See that? We'll put this here. And then finally, one more washer goes into place. Pull it out here. There it is. It's going to go on like this. So. The body of the guitar, here's your ankle anchor that's down in the guitar. So we're gonna so here's the guitar, right? We're gonna screw the bolt down into the anchor. This is flush mounted into the guitar. So see how it's tightened down like that? And then we take our wrench here and you're gonna tighten it down into that into that bushing. And once you get it down in there and you can feel that it's in, you kind of back it up and just sort of pull and it just pops right out. It's amazing. It just pops right out. And then once you get it out, you just unscrew it, put your ground wire down in there. I ran a B string. Ran a B string through the route, in there, pushed the stud anchor back in, the anchor post back down in there, now the wire is trapped, and then you can run some conduit on it, or you can uh, leave it bare however you want, and you could use 18 gauge. I used a, um, a solid core guitar string. It just seemed to be the best way to do it, and I put a, a heat shrink around it just so it's covered and can't touch anything that it's not supposed to touch, like another pot or something. So anyway, this cost me like, you know, five bucks, all the parts, maybe, maybe not even five bucks. I think the, the, uh, the tube was about, I mean, the piece of copper was like two sixty nine. The bolt was, you know, a dollar fifty. I don't remember. It wasn't expensive, but this works, it truly works. Whoops. This, this gets it done. All right. Next time.